Bedtime was once a battle between Sam Kokonis and his mother Shannon, but she says trying this new routine has helped. Before bedtime, Shannon rubs essential oils like lavender and frankincense on his head and feet, which she says helps him relax. It has gotten so much better. Like I, if I have to go up maybe once to like tell him to stay in his room, um, that's it versus 10 to 15 times before. I use uh, cedarwood, lavender, and vetiver. Vetiver is really good for calming him quickly. It's a good oil for us. Throughout history, essential oils were used as topical treatments and remedies. Nowadays, they are normally massaged into the skin and used for relaxation. Parents of children with autism spectrum disorder have taken to the internet to talk about how the use of these oils helps their kids relax, especially through daily transitions, like between dinner time and bedtime. Now researchers are putting that theory to the test. We are offering the topical method for all children in the morning. Uh, so for one minute, they'll rub it on either the neck or the feet. And in the evening, all the children will get a diffuser and, it, and the oils will be diffused in the bedroom. After that, they use a device that looks like a watch to measure sleep patterns. They'll collect data from the children for a few weeks while they're using oils and a few weeks while they're not using oils, and then compare. The researchers hope to provide parents with evidence-based data to help inform them on the safety and effectiveness of this oil therapy. Reporting for ABC 10 and The CW5, I'm Sarah Mack.